She burst onto the scene in one of the most iconic roles on Broadway. Stephanie Mills catapulted from her role as Dorothy in The Wiz into superstardom, creating a decades-long career in music and now movies. I sat down with the icon for a personal conversation about the high highs and low lows of her iconic career, the void that she's felt in her romantic life, and the fulfillment she's received as a loving mother. Known as the little girl with the big voice, Amazing Grace. For more than half a century, Grammy winning icon Stephanie Mills has wowed audiences from the church choir Sound. to Broadway. But not to the Billboard 100. Like 66 years old, you've been performing for more than half a century. What's the secret sauce for the staying power? Oh my God. Prayer, mm. sleep, not hanging out, not listening to the noise. Mm of what people have to say. Mills' star power was cemented with her role as Dorothy in the original Broadway musical, The Wiz. When you started out on in The Wiz on Broadway, it was really a time we weren't seeing many uh, people of color on Broadway. And we're still not. It, we're still not, true. <laughs> they didn't like me as Dorothy. We got terrible reviews, and they said Judy Garland should get up and slap me. But my mother belonged to a huge church in Brooklyn, Cornerstone Baptist mm -hmm. Church. Ken Harper, who was the producer of The Wiz, his mother belonged to a, a church. So they had busloads that came in. And it wasn't until we did the commercial that the show kicked in, and it, it lasted for five years. I was in it for five years. And seven Tony Awards, so ultimately... Seven Tony Awards. Ultimately, people ultimately, liked it. Ultimately, <laughs> they did, yes. The public liked it, yes. Her vocal power was put in the spotlight with the show's iconic ballad, Home. It would be nice to be back. In the years that followed, Mills went on to release more than a dozen albums, often singing about love, like her chart-topping hit, Never Knew Love Like This Before. You are my love light, the sun low, and I'll never let you go. But Mills is quick to divulge she's never experienced the kind of love she sings about. Still to this day. Never knew love like this before. You know, I'm from a man. I've never mm -hmm. experienced that kind of love, the love that I sing about. Because you do a good job of convincing <laughs> us that, that you That's know because that. I have so much love inside mm -hmm. of me. Mm -hmm. But I've never experienced that kind of love from a man. Never. Come dance with your mama. Come on. The true love of her life is her son, Farad. What has Farad taught you about you? Oh, my God. How compassionate I am and how much I love to love. You know, there's no love like a child's love. What would you like the world to know about people with Down syndrome? Oh, that they can do anything. In the right environment, take them everywhere. He travels with me. He's an A student. He's written a book. He's working on his second one that's coming out uh, this year. Don't limit them. They're not handicapped. They just need extra special love and more patience. Despite all her success, including a career that's reached dizzying heights, Mills admits life in the spotlight can induce heartbreaking lows. The road hasn't always been yellow. I take it all in and I'm glad and thankful that I've survived because there could have been a time where I couldn't have survived. When you mentioned that, that there was a time maybe you couldn't survive, did you ever get to a, a low where... Absolutely. Absolutely, where I didn't want to be around anymore. I didn't like the industry. Yeah, absolutely. What got you to that and then what got you out of it? The height of my career, I was the most unhappy. Mm. Because when you're that popular and, and everybody's on you and putting things in your head and you should do this and you should, everyone's trying to change you, it makes you sad because it makes you feel like you're not good enough as you are. And the hardest thing for me as an artist, I don't know about anybody else, 
is to find out that you're just a, a dollar. You're just a, a, a dollar sign to people that they really don't really care about you. The 66-year-old is now touring across the country and acting in her first feature film, which debuted in Lifetime last month. You know nothing about me and Tasha or what went on between us. I do know that this tastes nothing like hers. Talk to us about that transition. Is it a different skill altogether when you're, when you're going from Broadway to singing to a movie? Not really, because I think my Broadway training helped me with the role, they finally gave me at 66 uh, a leading role, and I love Lifetime. I watch Lifetime all the time, and it's called Pride. I play the part of Birdie, a 60-year-old woman, so I'm playing somebody younger than me. <laughs> what would you like to see next? I mean, you, you've done quite a lot. I have no expectations. I'm just enjoying what's happening. I want to be present. Sometimes we as artists don't, we're not present. We're always looking for the next thing. I'm not. I'm enjoying this. What would you like your legacy to be? I would like it to be that I gave love, I gave understanding, and that I was proud of who I was and who I am. Pride, a seven deadly sin story premiered on April 8th. You can still watch it on the Lifetime website and app and on demand through your cable provider. Our thanks to Stephanie Mills for that conversation. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.